Stan Jabalisco here. I would just like to explain very briefly to you what a Zener diode is in comparison to an ordinary or a conventional diode. A Zener diode is basically an ordinary diode with one specific difference. Now when I talk about an ordinary diode, let's just for the sake of uh, an example think of a silicon rectifier. which has a forward breakover voltage of about six-tenths of a volt and a reverse avalanche voltage that's just simply arbitrarily high, maybe tens or even hundreds of volts depending upon the type of diode. Of course what you're looking at is a graph of voltage versus current forward voltage going off towards the right, reverse voltage going off towards the left, forward current going up, reverse current going down. So when you forward bias a diode, you are somewhere in this region here, and when you reverse bias a diode, you're somewhere down here. These other two quadrants simply don't have anything in them, and this is what a characteristic curve typically looks like for an ordinary diode, and there's the symbol for an ordinary diode. Well now, let's just for a moment switch gears and consider the Zener diode. Now notice the difference in the symbol. It looks just like an ordinary diode, except for these little twisties on the end of the cathode line there. And in fact, in the forward direction, a Zener diode behaves pretty much the same way as an ordinary diode does. Electrons can flow against the arrow in either case, but they have difficulty flowing with the arrow in either case. In the case of an ordinary diode, a lot of difficulty, even up to a very high voltage. In the case of a Zener diode, a lot of difficulty, but up to a much lower voltage. And that voltage, rather than avalanche voltage, is called the Zener voltage. The Zener voltage for a typical diode is far lower than the avalanche voltage for a conventional diode. In fact, you might see a Zener diode with a reverse um, breakdown avalanche point of maybe 3.6 volts up into the tens of volts, the forward breakover voltage is just the same. So that is what this kind of a diode looks like. Now why would you want to have a diode that breaks down more easily in the reverse direction or at a lower voltage? Well, there are a lot of reasons why, and in some other future videos I will try to get into some specific applications of Zener diodes where ordinary diodes simply would not work. Stan Jibalisco signing off for now. Until next time, so long.